Hey guys, what's going on? Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Oh yeah. We've got a little bit of asphalt. 18 triaxles of recycled asphalt millings. For now, we're gonna make a parking lot, but at some point, this is gonna become a barn pad. Long term, the goal is to put my forever barn right here, and there's no time like the present to get the barn pad in. This stuff was 225 a load, 225 per triaxle. As compared to 53 limestone, this stuff's about six and a quarter a load. So this is definitely a steel. Problem though, is my backhoe transmission's kind of finicky right now, so we won't be using that. We're using the 4052R, and this stuff's been baking in the sun for a little bit, so it's starting to pack together. A lot of material. Let's get to it. This may well take forever with this tractor. Good sized tractor, but this stuff has just been baking. And it is very well packed. It needs to be ripped. I need a bulldozer, really. I think what I might do is just park the backhoe right here and kind of pull this pile down and pull that pile in. And then just kind of slowly eat my way through it. I'm not kidding, guys, though, when I say the backhoe probably cannot climb up this right now. It's definitely in limp mode. Some people talk about the Tell you what, as much as I love my 4052R, and it's done so much work for me out here, there's just no comparing it to a piece of real construction equipment. And I say that talking about a 1986 or 7 case backhoe. I think it's old as the hills, bent through the paces, but man, just a real piece of construction equipment. Wish it was four wheel drive, wish the transmission was actually in decent shape, because I'd probably be able to work through this a whole lot faster, but it's gonna be a team effort with no bulldozer on site kind of ripping these piles up a little bit, moving stuff with the bucket as I can, and then probably bring the tractor in to level it out some. He's having fun though. Let's see if we can't clean up this little area here before lunch. How about that? Oh yeah, look at that. Now we're going to pick it up. taking a minute but we're making some progress he's excited we're gonna pull the backhoe up right about here we kind of made ourselves a little ramp and then maybe sit here with the backhoe for about 10 or 12 minutes almost 15 and just kind of knock some of these piles out 
see if we can't clean this area up. All right, pull this one. Pull it. Hold this one in. Alright, good. Push it out. Push this one out. There you go. Now you're getting it. Don't hit my camera. Pull this one in. Pull it. Pulling. Oh yeah. All right. I didn't accomplish as much as I wanted to with that move, but it's all right. I think we're gonna get the tractor out. I think we're parking the backhoe for the day. I'm gonna get the tractor and just kind of level this up a little bit and leave the rest for another day. I knew it wouldn't be done all in one fell swoop. Not without a bulldozer. He's anxious to drive his tractor up here, so we'll level it up. Oh, he's already ready to roll. Nice work. If that backhoe had a better transmission, it'd be a different ball game. Or if I had a dozer. So let's clean this up, see what it looks like, and you guys will hopefully be around for part two. Oh, he about got air. I know it's not a bulldozer, but when that thing gets traction, that box blade can move some material. So yeah, still a lot of work to be done. Um, I do think I'll need a few more trucks. So if I level this up, at least the trucks can come now dump on top of what's here instead of extending the footprint of all this. So I'm gonna say, hope you enjoyed this one. If you would hit that subscribe button, come back and see me for part two, which will definitely be happening. But right now I'm gonna do one of the most therapeutic things you can do on a tractor, and that is box blade uneven terrain or material. So I'm going to take you guys out with that and I got to get the racetrack ready for him over there because he is raring to go. Extra traction. <laughs> <laughs>